The fifth type of profit maximizer is recurring billing. Recurring billing is really simple. Um, it, w the hardest thing you'll ever do is make that first sale, right? But if with recurring billing, you make the sale once, you get paid over and over and over again. Now, there's been subscription-based programs out there. I mean, you probably subscribe. You have a, a, a cable subscription or phone subscription. A lot of utilities have been subscription-based. But... Now you're seeing industries like e-commerce industries with sites like Birchbox, where every month you get a box of beauty supplies if, if you're a subscriber to Birchbox. Um, there's a car wash, a car wash that says, look, you know, for $54, for 55 bucks, you get unlimited car washes. Bring your car as often as you like. Tanning salons. This concept of recurring billing saved the tanning salon industry. Uh, I know people who are in the home repair uh, space who they do, will we'll come out, pay us every month, and we'll change out your light bulbs. We'll change out your air filters. Uh, I know people who are in the HVAC business where they put them in a special club. So we say, look, for $30 a month, you're, you've got the super secret you know, bat phone to where if, if it's the middle of summer and we've got 50 phone calls, when you call, we answer this phone no matter what, and we come to you first, right? So there's lots of reasons that people would do recurring billing. For us, we have a number of associations and membership sites and newsletters and things like that. So the point is, try to think, how can you make a sale once and get paid over and over and over again? How can you make a sale once and deliver value over and over and over again? Recurring billing is difficult to sell on the front. It's very, very, very difficult to sell on the front because when somebody buys when we're first getting started, we don't necessarily want to commit for a long time. This is marriage, right? To say, hey, you want to go get some coffee? Yeah, sure. If it doesn't work out, I can bail. Coffee works out. Want to go grab some dinner? Yeah, sure. It's just dinner. Want to get married? Okay, now we're kind of in it to win it, right? So the mistake that a lot of companies make when they try to go for a recurring billing or for a subscription model is that they try to do it too early in the relationship. When you position this type of offer as a profit maximizer, after they've, uh, after, after they've gone through your, your lead magnet and your tripwire and your core offer, now it's time. Now they're ready. So even if you've tried subscription uh, in, in the past, um, try it again. But don't try it as an initial offer. Don't try you know, going out there and, and selling it to people who don't, net, don't yet know you and love you. Uh, sell it to your highest value people. Give them an opportunity to get fully engaged. Give them an opportunity to get married to you and your brand because that's exactly what recurring billing lets you do.